How's it going? I'm good. How are yourself? Good. What are we uh, watching? I don't know. Can you help me out here? I just got this. Howdy. Today I'm going to go over some really nice theater apps, uh, the ones that I think are the best, and I'll probably mention some that I don't think are very good. All right, let's check it out. Probably one of the most known, well-known one here is Pegasus VR Media Player. This is not the light version. This is the one that costs money. I think it was only a few bucks. This one has a lot of support for, uh, like, it has Samba, which our network shares. It also has DLNA. So you can play your media files over the network. If you have a router that you have a shared drive attached to, like I do, you can play all kinds of files off of it. For example, here we go. This one is Coraline. I really like the theater. It looks great. And it reflects... It reflects onto the walls and all around. My very first experience with a, a VR headset was a Gear VR that was on display at a Best Buy. And I put it on and bam, I was in a theater. And so I really liked the theater experience. This also supports 3D pictures and 3D video. For example, some pictures I have, I just have to tell it it is side by side, full side by side. Bam, that is in 3D. Of course, you can only see it in 2D because I'm making this video in 2D, but it is three dimensional. This is a picture I took with my camera using one of the methods I posted a how-to video on earlier in my channel. Looks really cool. There's another one. Very fun to do, very fun. You can also change your seating. I'm in the middle, I'm in the back. You can select the Void Theater where you can resize the screen. That's cool. Oh, it's very 3D, really close up to it. You can make it a curved screen. You can change the curvature of it. sticky screen, which I'm not sure. Okay, so it follows you everywhere. This is going to make me sick. I would never use this feature. I feel sick just turning my head with it on. You can also do things like change the aspect ratio. You can rotate it. There's a few other settings you can play with. You can change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. If you have subtitles, you can turn them on. There's IPD settings, but I haven't noticed a change when I've tried to use them. And cinema brightness during media playback. Here I'm making the theater completely bright. So, I love this theater, it's really cool. All right, next app. My opinion right now, Skybox is the best free theater media player that you can get. Check out this environment. Got fireplace over here. It does great stuff. You can, it does have a void theater too. It does support network, air screen, which I don't have, SMB, bedtime stories. I'll mute that in case I don't want to get copyright notice. But this works pretty well, very well. The problem with Pegasus is if you want Samba support, you have to pay extra. You have to buy the pro version, which you don't have to with this app. It supports all different kinds of 
videos. It does support the YouTube videos as well, the YouTube 3D square videos. You can change the aspect ratio. You can rotate the image. You can change the brightness of the image. You can change the scene. Right now we're in cinema, we can go to void. You can move it all around. Zoom in and out. It's pretty cool. Ooh, look at this, it's beneath me. It's giant, it seems like the screen is insanely giant, like I'm scared right now. Space station. No, oh, you can change this too. Oh, you can even change this with space station. Cool. Oh, okay, I see we're like inside glass, apparently. Are we? Moon. Nice. Man, I gotta show my son this, he would love this. Moon one. Look, it's a, it's a movie setting, or it's a moving rise, movie rise. Anyhow, you can also change the lighting. You can change your seat position. It would be cool if they allowed, if they showed like a blurred image of that coming out of the projector behind you. Now this is Skybox. This is the theater in Skybox. This is the absolutely hands down best free theater movie player as of right now. As far as I know, it does not support pictures and it does not yet have curvature on the screen, but I was told that is coming, curvature. All right, next one that I think is really good, Whirly Gig. Right now it is currently in beta, it's not officially released yet, but it is an amazing player. It has tons of options. You can curve the screen backward and forward, vertically and horizontally. It does support 3D pictures, full side-by-side -side even. Pretty amazing. All right, Whirly Gig Media Player is currently in beta for the Oculus Go, but it is extremely powerful. You can change a lot of settings. It currently does not yet have network support. The developer, is just, he's just one guy, he, he wants to add it. Um, so he, that may be something that he'll end up doing. Look at all these settings. It can be overwhelming, it can be confusing. Rooms, look at this, look at this room. This is cool. A lot of different rooms he's got, so many. Well, that's one polished floor. This looks kind of weird. These are all 3D. Here, this one's you're, you're in the water. <laughs> you're in the water. Like you're kicking back in the water watching a video. lot of different options, just a ton of options. Here we go, change this to, yeah, it's an actual picture, gonna go, here we go. All kinds of different settings, you can change the field of view, change the tilt, change the distance, which seems kind of similar to field of view, whoops, here, distance. It seems like it would be, I don't know, is that different than field of view? It seems like it's the same. You can stretch the image, oops, or make it smaller. Here's where you can adjust the curvature. Both, so it curves this way. And it curves this way. So it curves back and forward on both axes. But as of right now, no, no network support. 
Um, I think that if he provides network support, this will just be the absolute best player. Now here's another one that I just got that cost me, I think it was on sale for $5.99. It ha doesn't have very good reviews, but I actually like it. I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't have very good reviews. But if you're tight on money, Skybox would do great. There is one thing though I like about this app above the other ones. And that's you can actually search YouTube from inside here and watch YouTube videos. But apparently... Alright people, welcome to episode 3 of Will It VR. Oh, here we go. You just really need it. Alright, so... Muted this. Apparently, if it has a 3D flag set in it, it doesn't like it. But, uh... It seems like this... These videos look fine. So, they look good to me. I've been really looking forward to finding a good... YouTube 3D player and as of right now this one looks as good to me as I've ever seen so I'm happy with the way YouTube looks when playing 3D videos but apparently it has a problem with 3D videos that have the 3D flag encoded in the video file at least like this one right here Zedshot that one is encoded in 3D so YouTube knows it's 3D when I try, when I try to play it, it doesn't load just hangs here. Back button on this is the pad right here. It's the pad. It's not the actual back button, which is kind of weird. You do, it does have DLNA and Samba support. It also, for computer, this is just your headset. Asks you how you want to play it. Want to play it in 3D or 2D? It also has different environments. Select scenery. Here you can change your seating. Home theater. Cinema. You can select morgue, which is kind of weird. Because you hear this person making noise over here and they're twitching. I don't know, I guess you want to, if you're into watching horror movies or something, this would be good for you. I'm, I don't, I'm not into horror movies but there's a lot of people that are. Change the scenery. Boat show is kind of cool. Hey, check it out. You are on a boat watching a show. Although, it's kind of cold out here and I think it's gonna rain. So I wouldn't really recommend watching it in the boat, but you can see the water reflects in the water. It looks very realistic. Very cool, definitely very cool. Another one that's really cool is YouTube VR Cinema. You have to sideload it. You have to sideload it and you can't do your own videos. Like you can't like play local files or anything like that. It's just for YouTube. But it is pretty cool. The environment is cool for sure. You have to use your head. Doesn't really use the pointer. I guess 3D flagged videos are problematic with these things. Okay, here's a game. Uh This is in 3D right now. The only problem for me with this app is I wish you could sign in. Um, I wish you could sign in. But even though you can't, like Seymour, you can't sign in with that one. But it's easier to search in Seymour. Um, and you can add favorites, whereas this one you can't. There's no option to add favorites. To it, so I've talked to the developer on Reddit. I've tried to encourage him to do some more development on it, and I would totally pay for this app, even though it's just for YouTube. That's the only thing it's for. It has two different theaters. And walk around. But yeah, it has two different theaters. That was the IMAX theater, and there's a cinema theater. I guess the screen's not as big on this one. There we go. Wait, Coyote wait. Peterson. There's something big down there. Can you walk up to the screen? Yeah, yeah, right there. Ooh, look at this. Oh yeah, right up to the screen. Don't you hate these seats? Like you have to sit with your head all the way back. Ah, oh, such a pain. Well, I wish you could go backwards in this. You can't. You, have to, you can only go forward.
All right. So for watching YouTube, this is definitely a fun app. I just wish that the search was a little bit easier. But visually, it looks great. It looks really good. He did a great job on this app. The regular official YouTube VR app is fine for watching YouTube videos. This is my daughter's channel. So this this app is great for YouTube regular YouTube viewing. You can do watch together. Is anybody there? Did this to me yesterday. Just show somebody with like a controller over their head or something. Yeah, for regular YouTube viewing. This is a good app for regular YouTube. It looks fine. I just wish that they had 3D side-by-side -side videos working. And I think last on my list is Big Screen is a good one. Very, very good. You can't play local files from your headset from it, but you can enjoy watching things from your computer with other people. If you're using an Oculus Go and you want to do that, you have to set it up on your computer and then you can type in the code, you would say, join the room. You would type in the code up here. You would type in your room code and it would join the room on your computer and you could play video files and you could give friends your room number and they could join. And you guys could watch things together, you could hear each other. How's it going? It's going good, how yourself? Good. What are we uh, watching? I don't know. Can you help me out here? I just got this, and how am I able to hear the sound that they're hearing? Hear the sound? All right, so this is your room, right? No, it's this guy's room over here. Oh, um, you know what? I can't hear the sound he's hearing either, so he probably has it set up wrong. How do you set it up properly, it's a thing. Uh, you have to set the audio settings in the application. And, uh, device? yeah, um, so d do you know this guy? No. Yeah, he would have to change it. I mean, he's not talking to me. I don't know if he can hear us or not, but I've set this up once on my, on my computer. I'm using an Oculus Go. I've set this up once on my computer and I've changed the settings. Um, I I've heard a lot of people having trouble with the audio. It works fine for me. So I know it's something that people have a challenge with sometimes. guys. How's it going? Hey, man. Uh, pretty all right. I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. All right, guys. That's it. Those are what I think are really good media players, cinema, app experiences. There are more out there, but these are the ones that I think are actually good. There's some other apps out there that aren't very good. Um, so, all right. If you like my videos give me a thumbs up subscribe if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down and I will leave you with the rest of my experience in big screen when I was in there and uh, I'll catch you guys later see it yeah this is a fun app for sure yeah I was playing Marie Belizean in it last night it was pretty pretty lit oh nice you were you were showing them your gameplay uh, no, I was actually just using, just playing it myself with my friend. Oh, the movie. So I was playing it in the VR game. No, 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 uh, the game. I thought you were talking about big screen. I was, I was, yeah, I'm play, I, I was playing, so hold on here. So like this right here. Thank you. Okay. I was playing Ring of Elysium, but I was playing it with this. So I had it on here, basically, playing it. Ah, oh, like that. Gotcha. Yeah, so I had the game in the center right here, and I'm, it was pretty, pretty fun. So were other people able to join you and watch what you were doing? I mean, if I set up the room, yeah, but I was just in my own home screen. What? But yeah, you definitely could have joined and watched me play. What, uh, 
I didn't know you could do that. I thought this was only for movies. No, you can uh, mirror your well, screen on your computer, computer, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. You can see everything, like, Steam library and all that, so... So, do you have a widescreen monitor? Is that why it looks like this? Yeah, so I got a 49-inch Samsung. Nice. Ultra-wide. Dang, it looks really nice. Yeah. 144 hertz refresh rate, uh, one millisecond response time, so... What, uh, what kind of headset do you have? Uh, uh, HTC Vive. Nice. OG Vive. I'm just using a Go right now. Do you guys know of, of any apps? Because my friend has like the Android phone version or something. I don't know what it's called. The uh, there's a beta version. Yeah, Dream just got released. Um, I know there's a uh, alpha version of this game that they, they have that you can yes, or Samsung and any Google Daydream. Oh, so I have a oh, shit because that's what I'm looking for because we just tried like two different uh, like sort of apps because I have the Oculus Rift and he just has the phone. We tried two different ones and just wouldn't work. And now he's away for a moment, so I was like, okay, I'm just try this out. That's good to know. Do you have any location where that's downloadable, or yeah, give me two seconds. So, question for you. Oh hell yeah. Um, I don't use this app very much, probably because I don't really know a lot about it. But is there a benefit to playing a game in here rather than just using your monitor? Uh, I mean, it was just something cool to try out. Oh, okay. Um, I got gotcha. you. Get that off. It's, it's mostly for there. movies, as far as I'm aware, but yeah, it but is for movies. You can your desktop, so of course. Did the guy leave that created this room? But we're still in here. Interesting. Yeah, yeah you're the admin now. I'm pretty sure. Or J J Oh really? Zeno. Or J J Zon. Yeah, you're the admin. Really? Now. Okay, so let's see if I can just play this and see if the new sound comes through for y'all. Hear anything or no? No. Okay, give me two seconds. Damn, I look like a scrub. I should change my profile. <laughs> I don't know what I look like. Let's see. Oh, that's what I look like. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Oh, you don't hear anything, do you? Nope. Oh, now I can hear y'all. Oh, you can scroll through this wheel? Holy shit, there's a lot of options there. Yeah, see, I just got off work, so... Um, let's see if I can find that link. Discord. Oh, that'd be awesome, man, because... You can paint this shit? A white hoodie. There's no white, Bruh. Yeah, if you just look up um, big screen alpha testing the on sport? Samsung Gear VR. No, no, no. Just Google it. Oh. Um, okay, hold on. Give me, give me two seconds. Okay. Going over to my to or like my monitor and everything. All right. So what's it called? Just big screen. Big screen uh, alpha testing. I want you to stay right there. This is cool, this virtual curved display floating in front of me. It's pretty neat, isn't it? It is. Or I can just make it a flat screen. <laughs> Let's see, size. Get that bitch really Dang! Big. That's awesome. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> you can go out the window. I was tabbed out for a second. 
Dude. That's keyboard, okay. Size down a little bit. Yeah, but it's pretty neat playing games in here because, like, it's like you're playing it on a fucking full screen TV. That's nice. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the app Oculus TV, but I play some Android games on that on my go. Whoa, he he disappeared. Who? It's just you and me. Wait, no. What? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Weird, huh? God damn. Maybe I'll be back. Uh, that was strange. What happened? I don't... Did he get kicked or...? No, I don't have any idea. I have absolutely no idea. Well, this is the only room available, so... <laughs> Weird. All right, John, I'm going to take off here. I was just jumping in here to check some stuff out, so I will catch you later. All right, no problem, man. Have a good one. Have a good one. See ya. See ya, man.